Well, this is how the uh, ICOM 7300 remote tuner jack should be wired if you want to uh, be able to press your tune button and get out about 10 watts of RF to either um, adjust your amplifier or activate your automatic antenna tuner that is remote which is what I'm doing. I have a uh, MFJ998 sitting over here. So now when I press the uh, tune button right here, the tuner button, um, it'll activate the, uh, the tuner and uh, give it about 10 watts RF for t 10 seconds and then kick back off. So uh, I ordered... Um, this from uh, a guy online that advertised it for an icon and uh, it's supposed to work on all of them but it didn't it was very erratic and sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't so i took off the little black cover that he had put on there to cover everything up and discovered that he had left out the uh, <clears throat> 100k resistor <clears throat> And so I put it in. Let's see if I can focus in on this. So you can see it's uh, <clears throat> a thousand microfarad electrolytic in parallel with 100K. And that's a 25 volt rating on that capacitor. And uh, there's your schematic pin one and two. Let's see, let's turn it the right way so that the sharp point faces toward the left. Pin 1 and 2 are shorted together with a, uh, a jumper. It's kind of hard to see, but it's kind of down in there. And uh, the 100K resistor and capacitor go over here to pin 3. Note the polarity. So, uh, what we'll do is uh, turn the power off to the rig. And... Uh, Plug in our, uh, I'll reach back here and plug this in. Sorry for the uh, camera view, but uh, I need both hands. Okay, there we go. So we'll turn it back on. And uh, that, uh, that little off on activation is supposed to locate the uh, the new device and um, so we can uh, go to like uh, 80 meters uh, push the tuner button and uh, you can see that blinks for about 10 seconds <clears throat> and goes off and during that time it's putting out 10 watts Let's see if we can see it on the MFJ's meter over here. I'll push it again. And there you can see it go up to 10 watts. Anytime you want, you can just push it again and it'll go off. So you don't really have to wait for 10 seconds if you don't need to. So uh, let's see. Let's, let's try going to... Uh, I'm going to switch up to... Uh, 20 meters and uh, hit it and there you go it tuned and uh, we're still blinking here we're still within the 10 second time frame um, as far as menu settings go it's not a bit critical but here's what I did I you go to the menu and then you go to set and then function and then tuner and um, there is a, a menu at the top I know you can't read it because of the, uh, the cameras inefficiency but uh, tuner switch and uh, I've got it set on manual instead of auto um, then the other thing is uh, push to talk tuning uh, that's that happens if you hit your microphone uh, it'll try to tune 
I just got it turned off. So I just exit out of that stuff. And, uh, and there you go. That's all there is to it. Um, I'm going to put some silicon back over it and put the uh, put my little cap back on. You don't really have to have that, but um, it's kind of a neat feature. If you go to eBay and do a search for uh, ICOM tuner, a remote tuner plug, ICOM remote tuner plug, or just ICOM tuner plug, actually. You'll see several options, and you can actually order the plug and the pins and this little cap from a guy for $8.95. Supply your own capacitor and resistor, and uh, it's, it's probably the best way to go. Uh, the other guy, W2ENY, is where I got this, and uh, it was 10 bucks plus shipping. But uh don't know if it'll work or not. <laughs> 73.